course, sugar is not good for us, right? Sugar causes glucose spikes that leads to inflammation, aging, insulin release. But the solution to this crazy food landscape that we live in, food environment, is not to cut out stuff. I don't believe in that. I think you try that for a week or, you know, you're like, this year I'm never going to eat sugar at all. That doesn't work. It never does. So what I recommend people try is try some of these techniques. For example, if you really want to eat some sugar, let's say a cookie, a donut, whatever, the best time to eat that sugar so that you have maximum dopamine from it, maximum pleasure and less impact on your body is going to be after a meal as dessert. You want to always avoid eating sugar on an empty stomach and always avoid eating sugar in the morning. So breakfast should be savory. Keep them for dessert after lunch because if you have them in the morning, then what's happening in your body? As you digest that sugar and those carbs, they turn into glucose molecules and these arrive into your bloodstream really quickly and cause what's called a glucose spike. So a blood sugar spike. And then about 90 minutes later, Lewis, your glucose levels are going to drop. You're going to feel a crash. Mm. And now it's 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and all of a sudden, you feel more cravings for sweet food. You're like, I need a cookie, I need some chocolate, I need a snack. And then you spike again, and then all day you're on a roller coaster where you feel addicted to sugar. Because your brain, when you're experiencing a glucose crash after a spike, the, the cravings center in your brain actually activates and says, find a cookie, find a cookie. And you want to avoid that because then you cannot, you cannot fight against the craving center in your brain.